Hey, how you doing there? This video that you're about to watch right here that I'm editing right now is very, very, very controversial. If you're the type of person that has like your gender pronouns in your social medias, you might be getting triggered by this video. So I'm letting you know ahead of time, if you don't like jokes, if you're easily offended, then this video is definitely not for you. You have been warned, all right? With that being said, here we fucking go. Holy shit! Ah. The Hell Divers 2 drama has reached peak levels of insanity. The community managers have lost their mind. The game has lost their mind. The game is being reviewed bombed like you wouldn't believe. Refunds are being dished out after people put hundreds of hours into the game and Steam has to refund it. The game is collapsing. The company is collapsing. The humanity is too much to bear. So when you don't know what's going on, big drama is hitting up here. It's more so about the reaction from the people at Hell Divers 2 and the community managers more so than the actual problems but you know both of them kind of suck hell divers 2 pc has been out for months was doing great everyone loved it but now they make you join and have a playstation network account connected with your steam account and some people don't have that there's over 90 countries that don't have playstation are unable to have that function happen so all the money they paid for this game and whatnot is now null and void and they can't get a refund maybe they can't and the community managers are acting like absolute ass if you know what I'm saying. Hell Divers can be imagine here, Misty OW. I mean, if you take a look at her, no doubt. There you go. He, she, her. Pronouns in the bio. Pronouns in the bio. Pronouns in the bio alert. That's all you have to know right there. Don't even know. Go any further. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. Hit that like button. These bitches be crazy, yo. Hashtag DEI. Hell Divers community manager, Misty OW, has deleted her account. She didn't delete it. She changed it and went protected. She changed the name so people couldn't tweet at her and she protected it. Every CM for Hell Divers seems to have gone protected. Community managers should not run and hide when their game is in crisis management. It is extremely unprofessional. They are ditching their jobs. The real reason they delete it is because if you were able to dig into their tweets, you'll find they are anti-gamer and worse. More news to follow. Yes, these people, a big surprise here. You know where this is going here. Pronouns in the bio, trans flag, she, her, hashtag equality. Otherwise, I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, here you go. Here's one of the community managers. So here's some tweets of these community managers just to get you the point here that their pronouns are in the bio, the kind of people you're going to get. He, Jim, her, be like, lives matter. I drive lines of heroes. Make sure you get your magnet, wear your mask. I'm not talking because it's not my turn to talk. It's time for black people to be heard and for white people to listen. I want to get you to do everything I can to help, including pass to the mic. All oh, your virtue signaling is off the charts. You're amazing. God bless you. You get a seat to heaven first, mate, beside Jesus. I'm so tired of games focusing on parent-child narrative, period. Little male syndrome ones there are other relationships worth exploring in games you know what what i like games with female stories i like women gay i like to see more women doing things in games aren't motivated entirely by men bring it down the patriarchy white cis male evil it's why jesse from control remedy is great and has a sibling story i love game siblings it sounds incestual you fucking freak plus hell divers is pretty woke dog oh yeah it is it's true all your dickheads out here sucking that con cock of the hell divers ah you know what yours all you bitches i'm saying it's all about being goddamn toxic in 2024 smash that like button subscribe for toxic masculinity game was made by a lot of lgbtq and brown people and black people and women and it's a big satire of jingoism that's right y'all got played y'all playing this goddamn woke ass propaganda game it's an amazing game ever you know it's the best game call of duty you know why could you get to kill minorities <laughs> <laughs> it amuses me they don't know the sewer is bad. It also explains a lot about the world at present. Huh, you all got played, you bunch of fucking losers. Hey. <laughs> this part is wild. Just uh, checking the accountability box for men. Completely some real big stinky opinions here. I think it's true that bridging the gap will have to come more from men than women. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you know what? <sighs> Wait, men are the best. We're the best around. Tom Cruise Scientology coming down. Booyah! Here's the chick who uh, changed her account, blocked her account, made it protected, whatever, hiding like a little bitch. It's a process to force people into an ecosystem when they don't want to because Sony thinks it'll make people pay for their products. No, actually, here's the truth, the matter of fact. It's allow us to ban people. That is the sole reason. So cool. Censorship. Get a PlayStation Network account and join it up with your Steam account so you can be a product of censorship. Don't say naughty words. White male bad patriarchy. God bless LGBTQ plus community. Go vacuum safe and effective. Joe Biden 2024. Orange man bad. 
So you could ban people before, that's a lie. We could, but this increases the effectiveness of what we can do. Yeah, we love the ban. If you're white and you're a Catholic and you're Christian and you like women, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> now though, as you know yesterday, they are starting to change their mind, they're starting to change things around, they're trying to suck it up here now because everybody is review bombing, everyone's asking for refunds, and now they're just trying to like, you know, do damage control because they're starting to lose money. But don't get it twisted, f all these people, they could all suck a big fat black f like that because it's about that equality. This is what they said yesterday, backpedal or lose your player base, I thought you were refunding and leaving. That was from the Discord, and today it's a quite a different story that they're bringing. Yeah, you know what guys, I'm so sorry. I was completely unaware all along about how many cards did have the ability to make a PlayStation Network count when I made that statement. You know, I'm just a community manager. I just speak out of my ass. I don't really know what's going on. I was paid here to help to do, you know, community service and may talk to the community and do public relations. But you know, I just shit on all you guys, but thanks for being a customer. I do regret implying that it was so easy for everyone to just sign up and not have to worry about it. It's absolutely not our intention to force people to break so many terms of services or just not play the game if they're in a restricted region. There needs to be a better solution how about the better solution is you heading out in traffic and get hit by a f***ing bus okay Ugh. i'm so over this shit man are you over this i know you're over it bro players make it displeasure known through reviews refunds it gives us more pull in discussions with sony that's right we're on your side now they don't read our discord it hurts to see the games pop players suffer in ratings but discussions are ongoing and our team oh yeah this sounds like some politically corrected written up by some kind of sjw probably a white lady lawyer who hates white people but she's about to bring down a patriarchy and equality is on the side of the players in this fight it's unrealistic to expect people to make a playstation network accounts in different regions to get past the account leaking requirement we're aware of that discussions are ongoing here's a discussion me and you in the back kelly i'll come down there I'm like hey what's up man give me a hug i love you it's okay i understand that you've been brainwashed by ideological subversion and we're going to put you in this room right here and bring it down make sure you realize what's going on god bless you and god bless the go cock army i'm the ghost of eight you all have been some super sexual stud muffins for watching me and listening to me rant on this video but actually you know, you're welcome if you don't hit that like button subscribe right now I don't like you, but really, really most important, last but not least, go out and buy Helldivers 2 and then burn it in the streets. Get out there with your mask. Get out there with the SJWs. Get out there with the pro trans. You guys got out in the universities right now and march with Hamas. Yes, let's go. Bring them down. That's what I'm talking about. I like to identify with terrorist organizations. Woo, yeah, but they'd throw me off a bridge or off a building if I ever actually went and hung out with them. But whatever, let's not talk about that. We're, we're you know, hey, listen, George Soros, God bless that guy. He's funding this. Make sure also that you guys uh, make sure to vote for for Joe Biden next election. God damn, we got, can't let these people in. The, what am I talking about? I don't know. I'm out here. I don't, I'm not even doing the outro. I've had enough of this shit. I can't take it anymore. It's driving me crazy.